a Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Leo placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information is listed in the description box at the end. We will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Leo. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. First card out this week, we are looking at the Two of Wands, strongest energy. It is in your past position, but time is elusive. This could be happening now, maybe happening in the future. Could have already happened. Nine of Pentacles is your second card out. Very positive um, energy here. Very optimistic energy, solid energy. Two of Cups. Okay, so two, two so far. Could be seen that as a synchronicity. But either way, whether you are in a partnership or not in a partnership, you are very solid or you are perceiving someone this way. This could be your energy or someone that you are connected to energetically. Friend, family member or lover could be different, will be different for all of you. Two of Cups is not only romantic love as well. It's two people that just, you know, they, they mess with each other the same way. If you love me, I love you. If I hate you, you hate me. If you like purple dogs, you like purple dogs. So love is not only romantic, but definitely there is some sort of connection here with somebody. You guys got mutual interests, whether that be each other or something else. Also could be a mutual love you have for something else. But I do think it's someone that you do have mutual love for. If that was a question, then some of you are single and soon will be in a connection. That's also what I'm picking up here. We have the Knight of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Cancer Spicy Scorpio, Major Arcana of the Tower card, Scorpio Energy. Major Arcana, the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy, the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Major Arcana, the Devil card, more Capricorn Energy. Could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn or a Sag or a Water sign. Heavy emphasis on Scorpio. Four of Wands. Wow, Leo. What's going on? This is like night and day energy. I am getting some. I, some of you are currently not. You, there's no one in your life. Not for long, though, or someone has recently sort of come on the scene. It's not it's probably really light right now, but it's saying there's a lot of potential here that might shock the shit out of you. Someone might come into your life like, life like a wrecking ball. It's like almost as if as soon as you open yourself back up to dating, if this is what this is about, some of you won't be. Um, as soon as you open yourself back up, it's like, boom, because you're not doing it from a pace of need or desperation you're good either way if it happens some of you are i don't think you're expecting it to happen as fast as it might king of pentacles here heavy emphasis on capricorn there's like an uh, there's like an instant i am sort of getting like an instant <laughs> cooking could also be very um obsessive someone could definitely be obsessive right or um extreme yeah like obsessive could also be a sense of contract a binding contract that is created between you and someone because now it seems to be the time the time is coming temperance here is all about timing all about patience it's like even though you've opened yourself up to this it's not something that you were running down you're kind of like okay well you know the door is open but if, if something comes through it then we'll look at it if not then you know we'll just keep being doing what we do and that's a very uh powerful place to be when you really don't need it but you could you know if someone gave it to you sure but you don't need it. You don't want for it. It's not something you think about. You're good. Physically, mentally, emotionally, if you're not there yet, that's something that is coming because it is in the present position. But I do see some sort of connection coming in here. Someone you can depend on, though. So this person also might be romantic, but this is someone you definitely can depend on coming up as the King of Pentacles. They're very, very interested in you. There could be a sense of fixation this person has because it's like you don't need them. You know, there's a sense of unbotheredness and that is very attractive. Humans find that very attractive. Desperation is usually not an attractive uh, characteristic for anybody. Usually, I don't I don't know anybody that finds desperation. You could really, really like someone. And if they start to like you back even too much, it's toxic. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but no, that sort of um, strength. Is very attractive. People and people admire that. When you're good, nothing about you changes because they come into your life. But interestingly enough, 
either you are the pinnacle to someone's nine of pentacles or someone is the pinnacle to your nine of pentacles, which creates long term, boot up, stability, legacy, decades, passing, four of wands, yeah. That's all about uh, potentially, you know, finding a mate here or finding somewhere you feel as if you belong, somewhere that feels like home, someone you feel like home with, could even be a friendship. But this is very much your people here. Or you're going to feel like, you know, this is your people. And it, it, it may shock you. It may be very surprising that this even happens. Because I don't think you were thinking this was going to happen. The Knight of Swords underneath definitely could happen fast. Kind of. It's like it's slow and then fast. It's like, if, you know, it's like as soon as you open, it's like for a long time before you open the door, nothing was happening. But it's like, I don't know if it's subconsciously or consciously, some sort of um, door has been open. And it's like as soon as, and then boom, it's like a bat out of hell. This is also saying, telling me that someone is leaving confusion behind. If someone was sort of uh, dating aimlessly, that's no longer going to be a thing. It's going to be very clear the direction in which they need to go to. They're not going to rush it, but any sort of... Um, dating they were doing they're not going to be doing that much longer because there is a sense of fixation heavily focused in one particular direction and it looks like these were i locked eyes so knight of swords air sign energy there's the hierophant all about commitment all about dedication all about um loyalty guidance please for leo if this is a romantic reading but definitely a shock factor here. Some sort of shocking, something you're definitely not seeing happening. Some of you, I don't think this is representing a breakup. I just think this is going to be very shocking. Worth waiting for. <laughs> Divine timing. Confirming that uh, temperance energy. Yeah, this is like someone that has taken the time to heal. Might have been single for a very long time. But it's like this is someone that did not did not open the door or is not going to open the door until they truly feel ready. Un until this Nine of Pentacles is cultivated. This is someone that if there's any sort of desperation within them, they're going to be honest. And they're not going to put themselves out there. Not until this level of sort of um, confidence is reached that, is some that someone's going to open up themselves. And then that's when it happens. You also have the Six of Wands here, which is all about persevering, all about overcoming, all about success. Also very much um, reception vibes. So we got the Hierophant underneath the deck, the Four of Wands, you know, very much giving uh, reception vibes with the Six of Wands. We also have Stay Optimistic About Your Love Life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Mm -hmm. All right. Guidance, please, for Leo. Stability, either way. Some of you, this could be a new job that you did not expect it, that you get. That could also be a thing. It's like as soon as you decided to put yourself out there and put in the, the resume, boom. It's like, you know, you just did it for fun. It's like, you know, when you like you apply for jobs, you just know you can't get, but you just, you know, just to see, just, just to say you did it. And this is like actually getting the job. You know, really good pension, really good uh, retirement, whatever. With the Ten of Pentacles energy, creating a lot of stability and it's something you love to do. We have adjustments are required. I think that's already been done, though. I think that's what some of you are in the process of doing. And it's saying keep going. Not till you're confident within yourself and what you can offer or what you provide yourself. That's when you open the door. Which is, I think you already know that. I ain't got to tell y'all. Or this is someone that has done that. This could be the, the characteristic of the person that is coming towards you someone that is done dating they don't want to do the multiple dating dating multiple people thing no they kind of want to hone in on one person guidance please two cards we have three cards embodying my soul i have the right to be excited and rewriting the subconscious the more i embrace feeling good the less often i feel bad yeah this is what this is the level that you're getting to or this is the level that you have gotten to and being on that vibration is, when it, is what's going to bring good vibration stuff to you. Healing heartbreak, yeah? My heart will love again, yeah. This is someone that's been through some shit. Definitely been through some shit. But this is also someone that has not lost um, that hope that it will happen. They just take the time to sort of heal whatever sort of, you know, toxicity they might have occurred from the shit that didn't work. 
but they still have all the hope that, you know, they'll find what they're looking for one day. This is like someone that has, is, let's say, someone's getting a divorce, but they still believe in love. They're still, you know, they didn't let this divorce, like, de like deter their, their need or want or desire for something that really resonates with them. You know, there's people like that. They've been married like 10 times and they're like, oh, you know, my ex is my best friend. All my exes let go. <laughs> kind of just, you know, go with the flow. No love lost. I know exactly where it's at. That's what I'm hearing with this Nine of Pentacles. No love lost. Because I am the love. Wherever I go, there's love. So just because it's not here or hasn't been in other situations doesn't mean it's not. Because I am the love. I bring the love. Wherever I'm at, that's where the love is. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. What else do we have? Animal Oracle. For Leo. Okay. Seahorse Spirit. That one didn't flip over. Let's see. Seahorse Spirit. Watch and wait. Number 53, which is an eight. Destiny, fate with the eight energy and Seahorse Spirit is all about, again, being optimistic. Watch and wait. This is like... You know, talking to the divine. How are you going to surprise me today? What magnificent, what, what magnificent things are you going to bless me with today? This is like that type of speech. Daydreaming even could be a little bit with the Seven of Swords. Someone that is open to good things happen, to, happening to them because they know they deserve it. They know they deserve it. Guidance, please. There we go. Nothing from this one. Okay, this one. Dance with life. That's very much the vibe, Leo. That's what we doing. That's what Leo's doing. That's for the that for the collective that this is resonating for. Very much just letting things go. Hey, que sera, sera. Que sera, sera. There we go. Do something to change your energy. Some of you, this is guidance. This is what needs to happen. This is what the divine wants you to sort of go into. A more um, open, leisure, you know, type of energy. Not so restricted because the devil card can definitely be a sense of restriction. Doing things by the book. Doing things in the right order. Doing things as society says you should. This is like, nah, I'm doing my own thing. And, you know, feeling good about it. And that is what kind of allows good things and things to flow to you. Because you are in flow. Do what you got to do. Move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. Okay. <laughs> and open up your heart. Yeah. It will help you attract more love. So this is very much the vibe. Some of you are definitely maybe detaching or divorcing or doing something like that. But this is saying do not let that define you. Do not, do not let that taint your, you know... Your, your perspective. This is like that old Italian woman that's been married about six times. And she's like, I, I don't mind getting married to seventh. Because love is just a beautiful thing. She doesn't perceive it as, oh, you've been married seven times. Shame on you. It's like, I have loved seven. I have, you know, I have experienced. Some of us can't even get it once. So I ain't mad at her. Shit. <laughs> that's your reading leo hopefully it resonates with you thumbs me up do not forget to subscribe see you guys next week